this video is going to walk you through the calculation for an Alex problem in which you are determining the molar mass of an acid by titration. So this is just a sample because your problems may not look exactly like this. And we're going to start by reading the problem and just sort of understanding what it's asking us to do. And here we have a 0.143 gram sample of an unknown monoprotic acid. Monoprotic acid means that it's a type of acid that only donates one hydrogen, H+, in the acid-base reaction. So that acid is added to a volumetric flask, which turns out to be information that we don't need to solve the problem. We then titrate the solution, which means react it, with a 0.150 molar sodium hydroxide solution. When the titration is complete, it's reached the equivalence point, which means that's complete. The chemist finds that they have added 15.9 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide solution. What is the molar mass of the unknown acid? And this is a problem that looks like it's nothing that we've ever done in class, but it's totally something that you can do. It just uses stoichiometry and molarity calculations. And with all stoichiometry problems, the first thing that you need to do is write out a balanced equation, which is a little bit tricky in this problem because we don't know the formula of the acid. It's an unknown. So what we're going to do is say, well, let's just call our unknown acid HA. That is a generic abbreviation that chemists use for acids. We know that it's a monoprotic acid. It only has one hydrogen. So we can write a formula with just one hydrogen, H, and then the A just for acid. And they, the unknown acid, HA, is going to react with sodium hydroxide in an acid-base neutralization reaction, which we've seen in Chapter 4, that produces water and some ionic compound. Again, we don't know what the ionic compound is because we don't know what the acid is, actually. We don't know what this A represents. But whatever that A represents, it's going to end up over here with the sodium ion from the sodium hydroxide. And it turns out that we don't need to know what this A actually is in order to be able to solve the problem. What we do know is that we have 0.150 molar sodium hydroxide and we used 15.9 milliliters of it. We'd like to know how many moles of sodium hydroxide that represents because that will tell us how many moles of unknown acid we had initially before the reaction started. So we're going to take the molarity of the sodium hydroxide and multiply it by the volume that we used in liters. That gives us the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. We can use stoichiometry to figure out how many moles of unknown acid that represents. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio. So there's our moles of unknown acid. The problem is asking us to calculate the molecular weight, or molar mass, which is grams per mole. We just figured out how many moles we have, 0 0.002385. The problem tells us that our mass was 0.143. So we know that 0.143 grams of this unknown acid equates to this many moles of acid. We can use our formula for molar mass, grams per mole, and plug in the, the mass that was given to us and the quantity, the moles, that we calculated in order to solve for the molecular weight or the molar mass. That's all there is to it. It's quite simple.